This is Janice Sonnen. She does Amish or Pennsylvania Dutch inspired rugs that she designs herself. She does remarkable work uh, creating these original designs that are inspired by traditional Amish, Amish uh, motifs. And she works in her farmhouse. Now this picture is entirely natural light, which was of course what Rembrandt was emulating with his night watch and with all of his uh, photog uh, excuse me, paintings, though he would sometimes also emulate candlelight. Here's a situation in which she was in a dark room and I could have deployed my umbrellas, but there was this one window that shone. The light was just coming right through it uh, in just shafts of beauty. So I moved her and her loom over to the window. That's one of the things that we as photographers have to do. We have to see where the light and shadow is and find the picture within it and be flexible enough that when the moment arrives with the light and the shadow, that that's where the camera is, that's where the picture is. Again, we are dealing with a little bit of blowout as we do with the child in the uh, Rembrandt uh, picture. There is a small amount of uh, blowout on her forehead, but it was natural. That's where the light was. And for me to artificially change the exposure to give more detail would have been wrong. Um, the light is definitely sculpting. It is invading the shadow of that room. And it is defining the, uh, the shape of the picture. We have also foreground light that was just natural light from the room, uh, from the overhead lights in the room, which is why the loom itself is not entirely in shadow. I almost deployed a small umbrella there when I was first looking at it because I was afraid the loom would be completely lost. Now I realized we had some reflection going on in the room. Again, my angles are such that I, you'll see that the instinctive spiral, the instinctive angles that come from the decades of working with this. You don't really think about it, do you, David? You, you, just, you just, just see it. Right. It, it just looks right, exactly. And so you just have those angles that it's, everything is pointing to her. Actually, everything's pointing to her heart, isn't it? it, it to who she is as a person. And she is a glorious person, by the way. She has this uh, depth of soul and sweetness that I hope comes out in the picture. She, it was, I was enlivened by being with her. And this is an example of what I mean by a portrait being a collaborative work also, because it's her giving of herself to me through the lens. And I'm hopefully giving something to her that she's responding to. I think uh, uh, several of the things I'm going to say will probably be a little bit repetitive, but um, some of the things that strike me about this image is the pool of light that illuminates her hands and face, which is it's very evocative to me. It, it shows us who she is and what she does. And the shadows, uh, the background, for example, you can see the background in her workshop um, and you can see a bit of the detail. But really the shadows serve to frame those two important elements, her hand and face. Her expression is, is very interesting. It's like she's engaged in a conversation with you rather than simply posing for a portrait. And I really do think you're right that all the angles and uh, created by the light and by the structures in the room all point to those two important elements, her hands and face. So this is really a unique portrait, never mind that it's a unique person and a unique craft. You're welcome.